And remember, Regis, everyone who walks through that door must have an invitation in hand. Mm -hmm. All right? Bye. And absolutely no gate crashers. Understood, Regis? Yes, Mrs. Matthews, absolutely. Bye. Absolutely no gate crashers. I suppose then that includes the amazing Simon Hall, huh? I'll amaze Mr. Hall if he's brave enough to show his face here. Jesse's debut. She's nowhere to be found. I'd like to wring his little neck. You're not the only one. He's got Alexander in a state of frenzy over this business about uh, Alan being alive. Why can't he leave her alone? He deserves to be shot. Well, I don't know if I'd go quite that far, but I certainly wouldn't mention his name in front of Alexandra. I'd be very happy if I never had to mention Simon Hall's name ever again. Oh, all right, uh, Winnie. Look, if he does turn up, please have him call me immediately at the club. Thank you. No luck, darling. No. I can't think of any place else he might be. It's not oh. like him, Daddy. Oh. He just isn't. <laughs> Vanessa, would you help me place these? Uh, excuse us, Henry. In the uh, dining room, I think. Oh, all right. Uh, Where do you think? Right there, on the piano. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes. Well, I... I think we're about ready. Uh, where's Billy? That's what I'd like to know. Big. Gee, we have been searching for hours. <sighs> what if something happened to her? What if she's hurt? Not just, just, just a tone, I said. Don't get me panicked. We still got that whole area up there to go. And uh, if she ain't up there, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. Okay, you go that way, and I'll go up around this way. And, uh, we better find her. Oh, drop! Hey, oh, drop! Billy, wait a minute. Come here. What Bring is? light. It's a note. Went back to camp. Have fun, Audra. Damn. Oh. My, my, my. You are gorgeous. Something tells me you didn't ask me here to approve my dress. Actually, no. I have a little side trip for you. I want you to drop in on Alexandra. Why? Because she has something I want, and you're going to help me get it. Guiding Light. This portion is presented by PH Balanced Secret, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. And by Ultra Pampers, even when they're wet, they're dry. Honey, I'm home. Honey. We have a power failure? No, I just thought we'd spend a romantic evening alone. As in no kids? No kids? You can eat fresh with me. I'm trying. You smell great. New powder? No. It's my new secret powder for a scent. Secret? Isn't this the stuff that's strong enough for a guy? Uh-huh. No, no guy I know wants to smell powder fresh. <laughs> that's okay. It's pH balanced for women. Hey, it isn't very romantic to talk about antiperspirants, is it? I agree. Are you getting fresh with me? I'm trying. <laughs> new secret powder fresh scent. Strong enough for a man, but definitely made for a woman. Lots more dishes to do and your suds fizzled out again. Think your bargain brand is really a bargain? Think again. One squeeze of an average bargain brand can clean only this many dishes. The same amount of ivory liquid cleans this many, and this many more, about twice as many. Ivory liquid has longer lasting suds than the bargain brands, and those famous ivory suds can leave hands feeling smooth. 
ivory liquid cleans about twice as many dishes. And that's the simple truth. Introducing a breakthrough in dryness. A diaper so revolutionary that even when it's wet, it's dry. Incredible new Ultra Pampers. What makes Ultra Pampers so incredible? It's the only diaper with a thin lockaway core. Watch. Regular diapers can keep wetness next to baby skin. So when they're wet, they're wet. Only Ultra Pampers thin lockaway core takes wetness and locks it away from baby skin. That's why you can make the diaper this wet. But you can't squeeze it out. See? Even when they're wet, they're dry. It's the newest member of the Pampers Blue Waste Shield family. Incredible new Ultra Pampers. Even when they're wet, they're dry. The dry Stacy Keach stars as a man desired by women, admired by men, and scorned by the daughter who mattered most. Wednesday, July 30th, Mistral's daughter. Friday on CBS. Falling out of the skies like but flies. But in this camping, when he appears to be looking at me like that. We're not getting out of here alive. Russell, neither's that thing. Look, thank you. I don't understand. Just what is it that you're after? Well, you needn't trouble yourself with details. Then how do you expect me to help you? I'll give you the instructions. All you have to do is follow them. I work so much better when I'm well informed. This is something that's very important to me. Consider yourself informed. So discreet. So imperious. Let me guess now. Alexandra has the card you want, and you expect me to get it. No, I just want you to get her to tip her hand a little. In that case, perhaps you might find a better partner in crime. She's not really likely to tell me any family secrets. I'm not so sure. What is this about? Money, the television station? Cold. Not for long. You're playing with fire. Really? Really. Are you sure you want me as a go-between? I mean, what if I do discover what you're looking for? And what if I decide to play finders keepers? India, if you get there first, you've earned the right to gloat. But for now, I think a little humility might be in order. I could use it against you. That would be a mistake. Yours? I could force you to turn the castle back over to me. If that's the way you want to play the game, then be my guest. But don't forget, not even for a second, that I play to win. And I don't care who I trample on in the game. Is that clear? That's clear. Good. Now, this is what I want you to do. Again. Who is this masked man? Yeah. You mean you don't recognize me? <laughs> Hi, oh, Silver, away. <laughs> no. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good time. Well, this is pretty much all right, you know? I mean, it's disguised. Maybe it'll spare me the wrath of that wimp, Kyle. Uh, don't count on it. Come on, Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> Dinah. Dinah, you look lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, too. If, if I had worn my own clothes, they probably would have, you know, handed me hedge clippers and sent me out back. <laughs> no. uh, it might be more fun outside. <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. Ooh. Hungry? Dinah? Just, uh, I'll wait if you share a little bit here, okay? This looks pretty good. No, 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 uh, it looks delicious. Uh, we'll have another plate. Uh, now. Is everybody ready to fly? <laughs> Vanessa, where's that worthless husband of yours? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hiya. 
I could use one of them aperitifs. So could you. How about it, huh? Yes, of course. Sounds good. <laughs> Congratulations! This looks like quite a turnout. Oh, well, thank you, Philip. I just, I just can't wait until Mr. Holbeck arrives. Who's that? Oh, he's, he's some big wheel from the uh, National Foundation for the Arts. I want to introduce Alexandra to him. Well, I'm sure he's here by now. Oh, really? Where? Which one is he? Oh, well, you can't tell. Everybody looks alike. All the gentlemen in their evening clothes and masks. Please, uh, some of us look a little more dashing than others, don't you think? Oh, yes. Is she getting uh, all dolled up for her presentation? I certainly hope so. I think I'm going to go call her again. <laughs> Did I say something? Oh, where's Daddy? Well, he's just been delayed. He'll be here very soon. You two didn't have another fight, did you? No. Uh, sweetheart, would you like to dance? <laughs> Darling, I'm sure Billy will be here soon. I hope so, because if he doesn't get here soon, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. When I get my hands on Audra, I'm just going to plain outright kill him. Spare me, go out. I didn't have anything better to do tonight. Oh, damn. I forgot to hear it this way. What? Ness is going to kill me. I'm supposed to be at that masked ball. Oh, don't worry, we'll get you there in time. We'll just paddle like crazy till we get you back to camp. Oh, yeah? How are we gonna do that without a canoe? Well, hi, Chicago. Sounds a little crazy, but we wanted to see if the new fiber optic phone line in the system oh, being built by oh, U.S. Okay, Sprint anyway. really was so incredibly quiet Go. that you could actually hear a pin drop. You got it? Loud and clear. That was a pin? So call now, find out more, and save with U.S. Sprint, where every fiber optic call sounds like you're right next door. Hey, Dad. Ready for another game? Oh, time out for Tetley. Make your next fast break an icy, refreshing glass of Tetley tea. Time, time out for, for a tiny little tea leaves, tea leaves in Tetley tea. Oh, Sarah, look at your hair. I know, it won't behave, and it hurts to comb. Then try this, new Johnson's Gentle Conditioning Shampoo. Why? You're growing up, so's your hair. Johnson's new shampoo cleans and conditions gently, the no more tears way. Why? For manageable hair. Then new Johnson's Conditioner detangles. So, it doesn't hurt to comb. Wow, Sarah, your hair looks gorgeous. I know. New Johnson's Gentle Conditioning Shampoo and Conditioner, the hair care pair for kids from Johnson & Johnson. I'm a famous for a fickle, funny, frisky kind of cat. And that's why they feed me Frisky's Buffet. Because they love me. Frisky's Buffet, with that great new taste. Which way to the buffet? I know I tied that damn blame canoe up here. Yeah, shoot. Gotta get back to that ball. If I had a pumpkin, I would turn it into a motorboat. Oh, well, I think I'm just gonna have to swim for it. That's all there is to it. Billy, you can't do that. The, da the lake might be dangerous after all. Oh, you don't believe that malarkey about the monster, do you? I was thinking more about the snakes. Well, hell, the snakes will get you on land a lot quicker than they will in the water. Billy, please, don't go. I can't swim the lake after dark. I'm afraid of things that I can't see. I'm afraid of the dark. And it's dark. Yeah, well, you can do no good just sitting here. 
Well, maybe they'll miss us at camp, and, and they'll come looking for us. No, ain't nobody's hung around camp tonight. That place locked up tighter than a drum. What's that? Ah! Ah! Yeah, oh, yeah. It's just my stomach. It's ground. I ain't eating nothing since we left the picnic. I think I got some candy left. Yeah. Oh, good. I'll take the red one. I ate the red ones. There's well, an orange left. Well, beggars can't be choosers. You look a little cold. You cold? Yes, aren't you? Well, why don't we try to start up a fire? We can make a bonfire. Maybe that'll attract some attention. Uh, yes. I'm not counting on anything but a little warmth, Roxy. Uh, this, this wood's dry here. Should start up a nice old fire. Look what I found. Another note. Sorry about the canoe, Audra. That little witch. She left us out here on purpose. You just wait like it's on her. You just wait. So I'm to report about this on my radio show. What in the world will I say? I mean, to me, this looks like yet another boring Springfield function. You'll be surprised what you're going to hear when people's tongues are loosened up a bit. Whose eyes and ears am I tonight, anyway? Who's footing the bill for this little mission? Patience, you'll find out soon enough. But I'll give you a clue. A certain Kyle Sampson's going to get the answer to his offer in a very unexpected way. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, never mind. Relax. Enjoy yourself. Impossible. No, it's true, Henry. And then she dropped these hot dogs all over my lap of mustard. Oh, it was, it was no. uh, only no. Mindy. No. Yeah, speaking, yes. speaking of pigs, I once knew this guy who owned a pig named Dinner. Dinner? For a while. Uh, wow. boo -hoo. Oh, I tried. It's backwards. Maybe. Backwards. Uh, Mindy. <laughs> I see a lot of uh, flash bulbs going off in there. <laughs> yeah, they're taking pictures for the society pages. Well, sweetheart, why don't you waltz through there? I'm sure they'd love a picture of uh, Mindy Lewis Corday. I'm happy right where I am with you. <laughs> oh, shrimp. But wait a minute. Why is he going so fast? How do you stay so thin? Now, come on, let's go to dance. <laughs> Please. Ma no, no. Come on. You know, Kurt. I'm hungry, too. Would you mind getting me and me some plates? Uh, sure. Honey, I'll be right back. Why don't we sit at a table? Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, I Minnie, mean, it's not like you not wanting your picture taken. Well, I've, I've had it with the limelight. And I'll tell you this much, it's not all it's cracked up to be, either. So you're happy now? Yeah, I am. I love being Kurt's wife, and I'm gonna love having a house full of kids, too. But you also love being the Samson girl. I mean, it must be kind of hard to settle down after all the excitement and attention. Who needs it? Well, I, I just, I wish. Go ahead. Talk to me. I just wish it had lasted a little longer. I'm sorry it had to end the way it did. It wasn't fair, Mindy. Damn Jackson Fremont. Damn him. Spalding is still dressing for the party. I'll wait. It's back. <laughs> did Andorra kick you out, too? Now, I knew I could count on a warm welcome from you. What did you do to get back to the States? Hijack the QE, too? Alex, you're looking lovely. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have better things to do than cavort with a known felon. I'm giving a party. Yes, I, I know. How did you get hold of an invitation? I still have a friend or two. Get out of here. I'm on my way. I just wanted to stop by and thank you. <sighs> Any favor I did you was highly unintentional. You stopped Simon from marrying me by making him sign that pledge, and I am eternally grateful because you stopped me from making a dreadful mistake. The mistake was mine. 
You and Simon deserve each other. You're birds of a feather. Common, mean, and selfish. Why, Alexander, you still sound like a woman scorned. I thought you were over, Simon. Oh, I assure you I am. I have his number once and for all. He was sent here by Alan. He's nothing but Alan's errand boy. Oh, don't tell me Simon made that one work. What are you talking about? Alexandra. Simon told me all about his ploy ages ago. He said that he could make you believe anything, even convince you that your brother Alan was still alive. Alan is alive. Alexandra, you're so gullible. I bet Simon pulled the San Rios map bit, too, didn't he? The question is who? What is his connection to Alan Spaulding? This is very nice. Simon, look, it's the map. The map that you wanted. Jesse, you make one hell of a sleep. Yeah. Alexander's got to believe you now. You've got the proof. As long as we can find out who this stuff belongs to, we're fine. Uh, Alan, are you in? Jesse, we just hit the mother low. This is Alan Spaulding's hideout. Becky's using Gladlock bags with the exclusive color change seal. Yellow and blue make green. This is easy. Better than that, Gladlock helps take the chance out of closing storage bags. Look, the yellow and blue make green when it's sealed. So Becky knows it's closed and Becky's mom knows it's closed. Whoop. Close tight. Gladlock bags. It's Bosley's law. Why take chances? Get Gladlock. Zest fully clean. Zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. New Zest lathers you clean, then rinses your cleaner. Do I look clean to you? Surprise, I'm not fully clean unless I'm zest fully clean. Soap leaves a sticky film on you that won't rinse away. But zest rinses you fully clean. <laughs> zest fully clean. You're not fully clean unless you're zest fully clean. <laughs> this is old Tony. Bring the camera in close, honey. We love chocolate chip cookies. So when the pack of soft kind came out, we tried them. No rave reviews till now. Duncan Hines came out with a brand new cookie that's making bacon history with luscious morsels of chocolate. Hot Look at this cookie, honey. Mm -mm. Compare the other soft cookies to the new Duncan Hines. Believe Pearl, honey. These new Duncan Hines chocolate chip cookies taste better than all the rest. Pure ecstasy. We'll continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. Take one super spy and one not-so-ordinary housewife, and what do you get? All the ingredients for a nice little Armageddon. Scarecrow and Mrs. Kane. Then, it's an evening of international glamour with host Bob Barker, Mary Brand, and special guest, the Miami Sound Machine. Live from Panama, the Miss Universe pageant, Monday. This is CBS. Can a retired train conductor and his wife of 39 years get their marriage back on the right track? Find out on the next Divorce Court. Break open the bread and savers and share them with someone near. Break open the bread and savers for bread that says come over here. Try bread savers. The blue in the middle bread mix. Every flavor is sugar-free. It's a cool, fresh taste you can resist. Share that sparkle, share that kiss. Break open the bread savers. They're sugar-free. The For years, I was in such pain, I could hardly hug my grandson. Grandma! Now I can't hug him enough. Thank God for a pain treatment center, Pain Troll. Their personal attention and new techniques really work. And I'm no longer dependent on expensive pain pills. Life's too short to live it in unnecessary pain. Call a pain treatment center today. They care.
Call Pain Troll in Afton, 918-257-8322 now, because living with unnecessary pain is no way to live. Glenda Sylvie and Channel 6 News, today at 5. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Downy, the fabric softener that combines skin-loving softness with the airy April freshness you love. And by All Vegetable Crisco. Crisco makes pie crust flaky. Like a pig or a bulldog. Well, watch your language right now. Oh, well. This ball is a total disaster. Hello. Got a grip on it, Kala. <laughs> Ross All the guests seem to be having a good time. Ross is in Toronto. My daughter's disappeared on the most important night of her life. My sister doesn't bother to show up, and the hostess uh -huh. is missing. What else could go wrong? You are getting me crazy, you know that? I'm starting to worry about Alexandra myself. I think I will see what's keeping her. Fine, fine, Ward. Um, Mr. Holbeck? Holbeck, no, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Are you Mr. Holbeck by any chance? Uh, no. Oh, uh, of course not. Enjoy your petty boy. <laughs> Well, thank you, Maeve. That was simply marvelous. And be off with you, you silly like... tangled devil. Don't you know how much these things cost to rent? Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Your dance card has not been filled. Come on, Flash, let's see if your feet work. Oh, do they ever. I'm telling you, I had an invitation this afternoon. Mr. Shane, I'm very sorry, but Mrs. Matthews made my job very simple. Oh. No one is allowed without an invitation in hand. Yes, okay, Mrs. Take Matthews it. is my sister. I'm sure if you find her, she'll understand. I'm really Tell sorry. Uh, not half as sorry as you're going to be when I boot your backside I'm out the back door. Up, oh, there, there. What's the problem? Oh, <laughs> Lost his invitation, he won't let us in. Well, it's all right, Regis. I'll take full responsibility. Let him in. Well, you say so, Mr. Lewis, of course. Yes. Thank you. Excuse me. I, I am so embarrassed. Do uh, you know where Kella is? Well, you know, I just saw her, and I would be more than happy to help you find her again. Thank you. That way. I could have taken care of that just fine myself. How, oh, by punching out Regis and embarrassing the starch out of Lillian? Why don't you mind your own business, Mr. Holier Than Thou? Because I hate like Dickens to see you drag one good woman after another through all the messes you make. Why, H.B., I do believe you're jealous. Huh. You can't seem to get a woman of your own. Huh. Lily! Cal. Lily? <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so glad you're here. Well, you have no idea what we went through getting here. Did Jessie come with you? No, I thought she was already here or something. I think her mask is too tight. <laughs> How long has Alan Spaulding been in town? How long has he been here? I don't know what you're talking I about. I think you do. Where is he now? Mr. Spaulding was killed in San Rios. He got out of there, and we have proof. Now, own up to it. He's here. You're trespassing. Now, you now, be get careful out. with that. If you make one more move, I'll shoot. Okay, just calm down. Everything's cool. This is a matter for the master of the house. You'll be sorry. Ah! Oh, no, the stained glass, they don't open at all. Sorry, I'm so scared. We've got to get out of here. I'm going to miss the debut. My mom's going to kill well, me. Well, not if Alan Spaulding gets to you first. You don't think he'll really kill us, do you? Well, I don't know, but he's he's taken a lot of time to cover his tracks, and I don't think he's going to be very happy about us blowing it for him. Come on, let's try upstairs. Get out. The sight of you makes me sick. You really bought it, didn't you? You let him make you think that your brother is alive someplace waiting to gallop home on his silver steed. Incredible. I can't take another second of No, you. what you can't take, Alexander, is that Alan is gone. Really gone. And nothing Simon says or does can change that. Did he bring in the lawyer, Macaulay? Alexandra, Simon is the type of man that you have to steel yourself against. And never, ever let him know what your Achilles heel is, or he'll go after it with everything he's got. He found yours, though, didn't he?
I'm sorry about your brother. He can't be dead. He just can't be. could I do? You should have gone to the authorities. Maybe, but I didn't. Instead, I made a deal. I'm fine. I, I, in fact, I'm ready to go to the party. Yes. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Uh, just uh, give me a minute. Wait for me in the car. Oh, I can't wait. You're late. You're late for your own party. Now, come on. Well, We're going. Uh... to $75,000 cash in Crisco's Instant Winner Sweepstakes. Everyone can win. Just look inside specially marked cans for a money-saving coupon and your chance to win one of $300,000 worth of prizes from cookbooks to cash instantly. So come on and celebrate 75 years of great cooking. Crisco will do you proud every time. Yay! If you've been waking up to high coffee prices, Folgers has a surprise for you. Jane? Morning. I've invited a few people for coffee. A few? Folgers' new special roast flaked is a very generous coffee. <laughs> generous? <laughs> Can we afford to be this generous? Donald, special roast flaked costs less. <laughs> sure, it's in a smaller can. But I use less, so this smaller can makes a pound's worth of mountain-grown Folgers. Mm. With that same rich flavor and incredible aroma. Am I saving money? Right. Anybody need a refill? Folgers' <laughs> new special roast flaked, the generous coffee. Also available in brick bags. Sure, I'm glad you brought these marshmallows. <sighs> you know, that Audrey's a real practical joker, I'll tell you. What the hell you, makes you think she ever pulled a stunt like this in the first place? Oh, after all the escapades she told us about, I should have seen it coming. Well, she ain't gonna see me coming when I get to her, I'll tell you right now. Oh, Billy, take it easy on Audra. I know she can dish it out, but I'm not so sure she can take it. I imagine this is her way of getting attention. What have you been doing, reading up on your Dr. Spock? <laughs> no. I just know how she feels. 
It's no fun getting overlooked. Kind of makes you do crazy things after a while. I did a lot worse. And you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but the thing about you, Rox, is that you didn't give up. You kept, you hung in there swinging, and you carved yourself out a whole new life. Now, I think you ought to be real proud of yourself. I was just one of the lucky ones. I had people around me who cared about me. Like you. Me? Well, yeah. Somebody had to do something while Hawk was out gallivanting around. I didn't mind playing daddy. I don't think of you as a substitute daddy. Well, what, what, what then? Uh, <clears throat> Ex-brother-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I think of you as a friend. Well. Okay, friend. Cook them up. Oh, oh, caviar. Caviar. Uh, oh, no, thank you. Oh, you don't want uh -huh. any? <laughs> you can't still be hungry. Oh, come on, let's dance. No, you know, you know what I would really like to try? What's that? Um... Why don't you try the smoked salmon? Oh, yes, I'd like to. I've never had it. I'm beginning to think you have hollow legs. Be right back. Donna. Is it lead feet? You don't know how to dance, do you? I'm such a klutz. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. Now, this is nothing that a quick lesson won't change. Uh, oh. I I'm really awful. I'm warning you. No, all you have to do is follow. When Vanessa was little, I used to teach her to dance by having her stand on my feet. Oh, well. Yeah, well, as I say, just follow. Now, okay. one, two, three, one, two, three. That's it. I'm gonna swoon. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? Oh, mystery man. Hey, I'm looking for oh. you everywhere. Oh, I've been dancing and dancing and dancing. Well, don't let me stop now. Thank you, kind sir. This one is mine. Thank you very much. Mm. Mm. My dance and my girl. Don't discourage my admirers like that. Don't do worse than discourage him. <laughs> Who was he anyway? <laughs> I have no idea. Mm. Well, wherever he was, he has to wait in line. Mm. Way behind me. Too, so I'm afraid you'll just have to overlook me. That's it. No, Philip, please, not here. Not, really? not now. It wouldn't do right to cause a scene at your own aunt's party. Come with me, please. <laughs> Hi, 
Well, welcome, sir. Do enjoy your evening. Why intent? and gravy bits. New kibbles and bits and gravy bits. The only gravy dog food packed with crunchy kibbles and chewy bits for a rich real meat gravy taste like never before. New kibbles and bits and gravy bits. Gravy, son. We're talking gravy. I said clean my new fiberglass tub with Comet. And a leading fiberglass maker said, yes. I said, it'll scratch. And they said, this is new Comet. It's tough on stains and safer. Watch. Here's porcelain with greasy food stains and a delicate acrylic with soap film. Now, new Comet versus a leading scouring cleanser. They were scrubbed, then rinsed. The other cleanser left the stain and dull scratches. New Comet shows only clean. So then I said, new Comet still gets some cleaner. Now, clean some safer. Great story. You're really well informed. Thanks. About everything but detergent. This is clean. Touch it. Did your detergent get it soft? No. Or control static? No. You need the Bold Touch. Bold has a cup full of detergent and a cap full of fabric softener combined in each wash. Bold 3 really cleans. But my regular detergent can't touch Bold softness. Even static's under control. For clothes that feel as good as they look, get the Bold Touch. Good afternoon from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. President Reagan summoned Britain's visiting Foreign Secretary Howe to the White House to discuss South Africa and recent British talks with Soviet Foreign Minister Shevardnadze. A U.S. official says Secretary of State Schultz will meet with Shevardnadze in late September to discuss a U.S.-Soviet summit meeting. U.S. and Bolivian units today began their raids on cocaine operations in the Bolivian countryside. Getting away isn't easy. I keep thinking about work, but on vacation, I just want to relax with a great tasting drink, Lipton iced tea. It's the best tasting tea I know. Mmm, this tastes good. More drought and heat in the southeast and the heat wave in the Midwest today and electric companies shopping around for enough power to keep air conditioners running. I'm George Herman, CBS News in Washington. More news later on this CBS station. Peggy. India. Peggy can wait. What the hell are you doing here? I don't see that it's any business of yours. Mm. This is a spoiling party. You are not welcome. You're through with my family. Well, I'd like to be, but it's a bit difficult, you know? The only difficulty you have is your obsession with Spaldings. It's got to stop, India. The only family I care about is my own. How is your father, India? I got there just in time. Now, thanks to you, he became very ill. I had to recommit him to a sanitarium. I'm sorry. So, the old Baron finally fell off the wagon. What a pity. I wouldn't be too sanctimonious about my father, Philip. Not in light of what your father has done. Please, you two. This is, a, this is not doing either one of you any good. My father is dead, India. This is strictly between you and me. And I want it to be over right now, forever. So be it. Consider me a closed chapter. Because, my dear, you'll have a lot more important things to think about before long. I won't even be an issue. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Well, I would have you to dance. Honestly, I would have, but I didn't want to make a say. Moving target? How about a drink instead? Capital idea. <laughs> Bartender. Excuse me, Fletcher. <laughs> I'd like to talk to Professor Blackburn. Oh, of just course. A moment. Oh, it's so good to see Maeve out having some fun. I was so worried about her. 
But she seems to be really recovering from her loss. Maeve doesn't seem to have suffered any loss at all. Oh, Kyle. I think all this time she's been spending with Lou's baby has really helped her. Well, honey, you just don't know how much I wish there was something like that for you. I mean, something you could really throw your heart into, darling. Peggy, don't say anything about that. Indy is here. What am I going to say to her? Don't say anything to her. She has no idea you're the one who blew the whistle on her. Oh, but I know. I can't take it. I'm going to have to say something to her. Professor Blackburn, I know that the Cornerstone will be a great addition to the museum. It's very interesting. Hey. Oh, as a matter of fact, here's India now. India, this is Professor Blackburn. Ah, yes. How do you do? Fine, thank you. I'll feel even better when the Cornerstone arrives. <laughs> Coming in on 3 a.m. flight from uh, Andorra. I'm picking it up in person. Wonderful. Guarded well, won't you? I promise. You've endowed us with quite a treasure there. I cannot argue that. Um, please, come with me. I have some people I'd like you to meet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyone I fail to notice? <laughs> well, Kyle, how nice to see you here. Hello, dear. It's a wonderful evening, isn't it? Friends and enemies all cheerfully dining together under one roof. Congratulations, it's a nice party. I'm sure that we'll find that it's the event of the season with all the press coverage. It's no more than usual. <laughs> Don't be modest, Alexandra. I'm sure that with your new uh, business interests, we'll be reliving this ball for days to come. I know you're trying to make some point, but I'm afraid you've lost me. Oh, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. Enjoy your coup while it lasts. Hmm? We have two more uh, vodka martinis, please. Oh, Alexandra, hello. I've been looking everywhere Did for you. Did you find Mr. Horbeck? I'm very anxious to meet him. No, and I I've checked every tuxedo in the place. I don't want excuses. I want to meet the man. See that I do. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, are, are you Mr. Holbeck? No, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Yes. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Robert Holbeck. Oh, Beth. Professor Blackburn, I'd like to introduce Beth Ray. Hi, nice to meet you. Perhaps between the two of us, we can convince Beth to accept a job at the Springfield Museum. Oh, oh, oh thank, you. thank you. You look absolutely beautiful tonight. May I have this desk? Sorry, son. This one is promised. Ask me again, okay? Now? <laughs> okay. Now. All right. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, buddy. You I like to dance. I'm glad you're so okay. to talk about this preoccupation of yours with Louis's baby. I, I want it to stop. I don't see that that's any of your business, Kyle. It's an insult to the memory of our child. I'm sorry that you feel that way. You can't tell me what to do anymore. We're getting a divorce. We're not divorced yet. Your behavior reflects on me and my... Oh. <laughs> It's inappropriate, and I won't have it. Kyle, you cannot control me anymore. You can't tell me who to love. I won't let you. Oh, Kyle! Kyle, I'd like you to meet our guest, Ro Robert Holbeck from the National Foundation of the Arts. How do you do, Kyle Sampson? We meet at last. Oh, there she is, Mr. Holbeck. There's Alexandra Spaulding. Come with me. Excuse me. Alexandra, I would like you to meet Robert Holbeck. Oh, Mr. Holbeck, I can't tell you how I have looked forward to this moment. Oh, our, our guest, unfortunately, has laryngitis, Alexandra. Oh, 
Well, that's no great hardship at a masked ball. It rather adds to one's mystique. Since you're at such a charming disadvantage, allow me to ask you to dance. Well, yeah, Jimmy Joe. Lightning, I'm sure to win with my craft thick and spicy. Ooh! Just think, who can compete with a sauce so thick it stands up to my drumstick test? Who can compete with spices you can see and taste? Mm -mm. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Craft thick and spicy barbecue sauce. So thick and spicy, there's no contest. You're looking at definite Major League material, but not if we skimp on what he eats. So when he gets behind the plate, we give him Kraft singles. Imitation slices use hardly any milk, but Kraft is made from five ounces per slice, so his bones get calcium they need to grow. He doesn't know what that big Kraft means. Glad I do. Kraft singles, more milk makes a good. Skimp on my superstar? <laughs> no way. Now, perfect polish nails in seconds. Lee Press-On Nails in fashion colors. Press-On Color, no messy polish. Press-On Color, no drying time. Press-On Color, no chipping ever. Lee Press-On Nails in fashion colors. Everything you need for longer polished nails. Lee Super Stick Tabs and 20 Lee Press-On Nails in a variety of sizes. Available in a rainbow array of today's popular colors. So press-on. Lee Press-On Nails now in fashion colors. And for this evening's banquet... Crikey! Two kids and she can still wear the likes of that. She can't eat nothing. Her ladyship simply eats a bit less with fibre trim. Mmm, fancy that! Just grain and citrus. She's quite smart. Mmm, pretty too. Shame she married a bloke with jug ears. Mm. Fibre trim, the European way to slim. You're not really gonna use that, are you? I'm not letting anybody harm a hair on your head. Simon, he's too old. Don't hurt him. How did I get you in this predicament? If we... When we get out of this, no more cloak and dagger, I promise. I have a confession to make, though. I kind of enjoy it. I love you. Oh, I love you, too. A big old armchair. Mm -hmm. Well, might as well be used to somebody. Sure ain't any use to Vanessa tonight. Mm, I'm sorry you're missing the ball. Damn. You know, I really wanted to be there for her. You're sure gonna raise Vanessa's hackles, I tell you. You know what I mean? Sure I'm sorry, Vanessa. I'd give anything to be there with you right now. I surely would. It's time for the unmasking. I can't wait. I'm certain there's a very interesting face behind that mask. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you as our honored guest, Mr. Holbeck. Will you join me in the presentation? Jesse long enough. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Attention and welcome. Uh, thank you. It's no secret why we're here tonight. Please join me in welcoming Vanessa Lewis and Carla Matthews to the Spalding Foundation. Ladies. And 
time now for the unmasking. Pleasure to present. When I took Jeff home to meet the folks in Atlanta, I was so tense and constipated. That night, Mom noticed. Jenny, looks like you need the family friend. The family friend. Ta-da! Oh, X-Lax, almost forgot. Well, it's a good thing I didn't. More families trust X-Lax, pills or chocolated, to work gently overnight. A good friend to have when you need it. Now relax. We like your Jeff. Oh. Gentle X-Lax, pills or chocolated, the family friend. Today's Duracell battery. It lasts up to 30% longer than the ones we made just last year. Duracell. The best a battery can be. Here's the smorgasburger. First we chop the cheese and chicken. Let's we grind the beef and liver. Then we mix it all together. Now, now you got, got the smorgasburger. Smorgasburger from Kettle Ration. It's like a smorgasbord in a bowl. Smorgasburger! Sunday. Summer blues got you down. But there's no need for violence. Nothing new left to do. There is another possibility. The perfect solution. Murder, she wrote. Then, how did Max get two wives? Joseph Bologna is caught between Suzanne Blachette and Rosanna Arquette. One cooks, the other doesn't. Sunday. Can't take much more of this. This has been Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, and Barney's. Furs by Georgios Pappas of New York. Be sure to be with us Monday for another full hour of Guiding Light. I'm Sally Ride with American Treasury. Act one in the drama of space travel features the countdown of the final seconds before launch. How this backwards ritual began after this. American Treasury is sponsored by Levelor. Levelor, make up my windows. Make them vibrant. Make them soft. And make them outrageous. At Cape Canaveral, the countdown is used to synchronize procedures. But to television watchers, this prelude to a blast-off is pure theater. And that's where it began. The countdown was the brainchild of movie director Fritz Lang, who used it for the first time in his 1929 science fiction epic, The Woman in the Moon. He brought in German experts to build the rocket. To heighten the suspense, Lang dreamed up the novel method of ticking seconds off in reverse. It's a fact in the Library of Congress. Learn about space.